Hello, Tubies. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing fantastically fabulous. I'm going to be keeping this video really short because I have intentions to go live tonight and I wanted to let you guys know that. I've been talking to Ember Honeyraven all day and she's given me some really great ideas for um, a topic tonight to talk about. So I'm really interested in doing that. But I also wanted to let you know that we're doing some magics here. And this is up on my TikTok if you want to find out more about it. But it's essentially we're working money magic. You're like, why are we working money magic, honey? You have a job. You've got security and stability that you keep talking about that you cherish. And what's in that glass? Well, that's some tequila for Boone. We're working with Boone again and we're working with our, oh God, clean your altar. My altar is a mess because I've got all kinds of workings. We're reversing our love life. We've got spirits. We're working with Boone. And we're working with the Morgon. And we're working with spirits. And I got laid off. So there's that. But look forward to tonight's live chat. And if you're watching this in the future, then the next video after this should be the live chat. We've got some demon conjuring. I almost burnt my... Uh, cursing dust before I opened it and I looked at it and I was like what, what is this huge white chunk in my demon summoning incense and it turned out that it was sulfur and I was like well it's a good thing I didn't burn that <laughs> I do label the tops of them so this one's like a conjuring demon incense and the other one says it's a cursing incense do not burn and that's my money oil it's because it's, it's gone green because there's money in there literal money so and I ran out of sage, white sage stick. So I have this, it's got white sage in it. And then I can't remember what herb this is. <laughs> Can you see that? The camera will focus. Do you know what kind of herb that is? I can't remember. I got these from New Age Imports and they don't fucking, I can't remember what herb this is. But anyways, I really like it. So we're just, we're just working this money spell. This is a sugar jar spell, by the way. This is a sugar jar with some money oil and some herbs and a petition, right? And we're gonna be working this every single day. We're gonna be attracting a new job to us, a new full-time permanent position, right? So we're just, where's my incense? Do you guys know where my incense is? You're like, shouldn't you know where you're, that's a cat box. You're like, should you know where your incense is? Do I look like somebody who knows where my incense is? I'm trying to do this while looking through the camera to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing without burning my hands. Eh, oh, don't burn me. There we go. This is just some sandalwood, patchouli, and juniper berries if you wanna make this. A boon requested it for this one. So the three parts in there is boon, the spirits, and the morrigan. The morrigan for me really likes juniper berries. So we've got that in there. Okay, and these sticks over here, this is just from the last st sage stick that I had going. Ooh, girl. Anyways, I just wanted to kind of share this with you and just let you know that your altar doesn't always have to be clean and pristine and pretty and gorgeous. I mean, like, look at this. Look at this mess. Look at that. It's like, Adam, clean up your mess. No, I'm working. A real witch has a messy altar because they're working. You're like, that's not true. Okay, let me put it this way. A working altar is always messy. <laughs> You're like, stop inciting drama. <laughs> so one of these days I'm going to take all of my TikTok videos and I'm going to um, compile them together and put them on YouTube. But if you're really interested in watching them and you don't want to go on TikTok or you don't understand TikTok, but you have Instagram, I always upload them to my Instagram story. So you'll see my little circle appear in your story area and you can watch the TikTok videos on Instagram that way. Okay. I really love how the Witch of Seacliff just grabs her phone and she's like, here's my altar and we're going to talk about random things. I'm like, I want to try that. Does that work for me? I don't know. You guys like when I do random rambly videos about nothing. This incense here is our spirit incense. It's made of, can the camera focus? 
It's made of lavender and various other, there's some patchouli in there, some um, juniper berries, other stuff in there. I don't know. I've, I've got all kinds of things going on right now, okay? <laughs> Yeah, so we got laid off, so we're trying to attract ourselves a new job. We haven't started applying for jobs yet. We're going to take the weekend. But um, it was funny because when I was working this, Boone and the Morgan looked at each other like, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was, like, begging them for help. I was like, please, I beg you. I beg you. Please help me. Like, I just, I can't go through this again, right? Like, we worked so fucking hard to get where we were. And now we're somewhere else. At least my, my company, my job, has given me a week's severance, so to speak. So I don't have to, like, participate in any meetings or be a part of anything for a week. I can just do nothing and get paid for doing nothing, which is nice. And they're willing to give me a reference, which is nice. A positive reference, which is really nice. So on Monday, we're going to start applying for jobs. Now, you're probably thinking, well, Adam, you've told us in the past, don't do spells until you've done the mundane. Boone and the Margon understand my situation. Right? It's a situational basis. Now, this candle is not standing up straight. You can tell, right? Like, you can tell that it's leaning. It's the leaning Tower of Pisa. From this angle, I thought it was standing up straight. And then I looked from this angle... And it was like, no, Adam, no, we're not standing up straight. So it's a good thing that we're not going to be reading this candle, but we are going to be burning multiples of these candles on here as we continue to work this. Okay, so we're going to be working this and continuing to work this. So I hope that this video has given you some inspiration or, I don't know, maybe you pick something up from it, but my altar is a mess and it's going to continue to be a mess. And as we move into me starting the recording of my new series for um, the craft about herbs and oils, my altar is gonna look a lot like this, but even get even messier. We're just gonna get even messier because we're doing lots of workings. We got love workings, we got money workings, we're gonna have job workings going on here, we're gonna have all kinds of things. And it's funny because the Grimoire season two takes us through really hard traumatic times of trying to find a safe and secure job. And by the end of that season, we found that job. I know it's a spoiler, but whatever. Um, it's the context that is not being spoiled, right? Like, I love it when people are like, oh my God, spoilers. It's like, you may be spoiling how a specific character dies, like by saying that a specific character dies, but you're not giving us context as to how. So in my mind, it's a spoiler that they're dying, but it's not a spoiler, a complete spoiler, because you don't have the context. So you guys don't have the context of how everything works out, but we know that things work out. And now we know that things didn't completely work out, but I've been there for a year and three months or so. All of that happiness. Anyways. We'll do, we'll do more witchy videos later, but I'm going live tonight, okay, everybody? And Ember Honey Raven has given me some amazing topics. I'd really love a chance to speak with Joey Morris, even if it's just a private chat with her about the Morgon and like just, you know, just kind of back and forth. You know, this is my relationship with the Morgon. I mean, she doesn't have to share her relationship with the Morgon, but right, like just kind of, it'd be nice to talk to another, uh, another witch who works with the Morgon in, a, in kind of where they work with the Morgon in a public way. Because I've got witchy friends who work with the Morgon in a very secret way or a very quiet way or a hush-hush way. But I don't have any witchy friends that talk about the Morgon um, in a public way that I could have a conversation with, right? And be like, how does she respond to you talking about her publicly? Because for me, she's like, I don't really mind. And I don't really mind if you record videos while we're doing workings or whatever. Just don't give away all the secrets, right? She's really good at keeping me in track that way. Keeping me in check that way. And yes, I'm stoned out of my tree, okay? And I had a, a shot of tequila, so we're a little cross-faded. So I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you.